behind the windows which are high above ground, where family life is packed in to only so much space. Lockdown has been a long, hard stretch. I've felt like it's been like a prison, not being able to go out, not do anything. Plus, there were days when I was just stuck upstairs in bed. I didn't want to, like, get out of bed because you get so depressed in staying in that sort of environment. It's been extremely difficult um, during the lockdown. I've got three kids under five. There's no balcony and there's no garden, so we've just been stuck at home. I know it's a safe place, but it's been really hard, especially for children and for us as well. Um, we haven't been able to do anything, go out or even have, get like fresh air. Only half a mile or so from the largely emptied towers of the City of London, the towers here are full of people, some of whom haven't been able to leave at all. There are my right hand side is Canary Wharf, left hand side is Liverpool Street. But people will see like, oh, they are in posh. But we are not, we are poor in this barber. Roshnara has lived in the block for 30 years. In her flat, she cares for her mother, who has dementia. My mom doesn't understand what's going on outside. So daily morning, she wants to go out. She quite, I feel like she's quite a bit frustrated. So also she can understand herself what's going on outside. And what about you? I'm so distressed. I couldn't sleep at night. It is very difficult for me. The restrictions are starting to ease and the street markets are slowly opening up in a community which has proved particularly vulnerable to the virus. Ta Hamlets is populated with the Bangladesh community and uh, we are overcrowded in our house as well. So with all this uh, fear of Bangladeshi people being very likely to catch COVID-19, it's kind of hidden us more away. Uh, James and Ferdusi and their children have seen uh, more than enough of their hiding place over the last three months, but being freed from it brings new anxiety. When we live in a tower block, um, taking them downstairs is a challenge in itself. Mm. So taking them in the lift, taking them out of the two doors, and then them touching everything. I'm just so scared to go outside with the children because I don't know if it's safe. Is it safe for them to touch this without washing their hands? And what is dangerous? What isn't dangerous? Lockdown has turned these homes into places of sanctuary and struggle. Outside their windows, meanwhile, is a changed and still frightening world. Geraint Vincent, News at 10, East London.